Hey everybody, happy Friday afternoon from a very rainy Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, uh, home of Reuben Montague Brown, Melnot Esquire, um, Casa de Ruben, where he lets us live along with him. And uh, we wanted to give you a very quick update to let you guys know about how his trip to the vet went because uh, a lot of you folks were asking on Instagram, uh, at Reuben the Bulldog on Instagram, uh, and on YouTube about how his vet visit went and what was going to be the story with his eye in between him making all these crazy... He was just chewing his crazy, bone. Chewing his bone. Crazy flemmy noises he's got going on. So um, uh, good news all around, uh, essentially. So we took him to the vet and just as background, this eye right here, this eye uh, tends to get a little bit red sometimes. It's intermittent, um, not really sure uh, the pattern behind it. It seems to happen sometimes more in the evenings than, than, uh, than other times. He wakes up usually looking pretty good. But uh, some, some red distance, some swelling, we wanted to just get that checked out to see how he's doing. Now, he does have some allergies, as uh, many bulldogs do, many, many, many dogs in general do. And he's been taking some generic Zyrtec for that. And, but with a little bit of the redness and the puffiness, which shows up sometimes on the videos, we, uh, we definitely wanted to say, let's, let's take a, a second look, make sure he's doing okay. So we took him down to the vet. And uh, good news there, because essentially uh, he has, he's got some allergies, essentially, is what it comes down to. Uh, some conjunctivitis, which is that redness of the eye and, again, the puffiness that, that's around it. And uh, what they, they uh, the vet has basically said that it is a result from allergies. So we're going to go ahead and take care and continue treating uh, with his allergy medicine. We have some steroid drops that we're going to put in to help the general inflammation and the redness for a little bit, a uh, short yeah, course of that. Short course. And um, he does not have dry eye. Uh, they actually do the same kind of uh, uh, tear production test on dogs that they do on, on humans. They use a, it's called the Shermer test, which is pretty cool. They put little strips of paper in the eye to see how far down they get wet. And if it gets wet to a certain distance in a, in a one minute period of time, that lets them know how much tears they're producing. And uh, Ruben is producing tears just fine. Um, uh, he, he makes us produce tears that, right, just fine as well. Um, he's uh, when he's snorty cranky. today. Uh, no, 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 no. See, again, I tried filming this earlier when he was <laughs> sitting there and he wouldn't do it, which is why I'm having to, uh, I'm not going to say restrain him. I'll just say uh, 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 gently hold him and love him. Um, oh, here starts the yawning. Here's the yawning. He's getting ready to go. So, um, so he, he's, his tear production is fine. Uh, his corneas both look good. Um, so every, well, they're a little inflamed, which is well, one of the reasons why. Right, but but there's not uh, there's not no. like damage or excessive issues no. with it to where no ulcers he or would anything. need. Um, he's had to show that like, dry eye would be a cause of issues uh, with that, where he had some some you know, damage essentially. So uh, we're going to put him on the the, the steroids, uh, a little paste that's going to go on, um, a gel that's going to go on his eyelid. It's going to be a lot of fun going ahead to try and to, to uh, put that on The him. lubricant. And we have just a general lubricant, uh, some just some, uh, some eye drops that we're going to use to keep him, keep his eyes moist. And we'll just use the, uh, the lubricant from here on out. And hopefully that should uh, cut down on any other inflammation after the uh, we initially take care of it with the steroid. So... Uh, his eyes are looking good, and we're doing uh, we're doing all right there. And uh, again, just so you know that uh, if you are interested in bulldogs, one of the things that we that we've been asked a lot often is does he you know has he ever had cherry eye? Uh, and that's when some of the uh, the, the lower lid kind of comes up and, and basically needs to be removed because it starts to cover the eye and uh, like an inner lid. And yeah. um, he's never had that issue. I mean, sometimes uh, there are uh, eyelashes that we, which can be ingrown and, uh, and cause irritation. Uh, some dogs actually need to have, um, uh, treatment for dry eye. So there's a lot of things that, uh, that can, that can be, uh, needing attended to essentially with bulldogs, I guess with other dogs as well, but, mm -hmm. uh, in all those cases, that's not an issue for him. And, um, he is looking good, looking fine. Well, the vet didn't say that. I said he's looking fine. Uh, that wasn't written up anywhere in the medical notes, but let's just say he's F-I-N-E. Uh, he had his nails trimmed, and bless their hearts, because his, <laughs> his nails are uh, are looking fantastic, and he's going to be in good shape for a little while there. And we had fun putting the drops in for the first time. We did one. one it's other. a learning curve. Yeah, yeah. But uh, there will be... I see you, Ruben. There will be more tacoing and restraining of dogs. <laughs> uh, this dog in the future to get more of those in there. So, uh, again, his weight is about uh, a little over 67 pounds, so he's staying pretty good there. And Vet says, you know, in general, well, he's looking, well, 67, he, he, in, a, in, a, in a few ounces. He's yeah. 60, we'll round down to 67. He's, he's, uh, he's a slim, mean, uh, eating machine. 
Um, so general good health and, uh, and uh, good spirits, especially after being done with his vet visit. So yeah. that is the update on him. All is well here uh, in the house. We'll try and hopefully get a video out for you this weekend. Uh, it's a rainy, crappy weekend. So we'll It's Valentine's see. weekend. But we wanted to say also to everyone, happy Valentine's Day uh, from, from Ruben to all you. Uh, and it's, Ru- he passes on his love. You want to say happy Valentine's Day? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so from Ruben, from all of us, uh, have a great weekend. Happy Valentine's Day coming up. And uh, thank you for, uh, for tuning in. Ruben, I'll leave you. You're, you're free. You're free to go. <laughs> to follow Ruben, don't forget to click on the red subscribe button, then click on the bell to be notified the next time a video comes out. Thanks so much.